In this video, I want to talk about this website. This is the website of the Musk Foundation, which is Elon Musk's charitable organization that probably exists for tax purposes. Um, but I don't care about that. All I care about is the fact that the website for this foundation is written in pure HTML, which I think, I hate to say it, I hate to give any praise to the man, is kind of based. So I went to check, I went to look at the source, and I found some slightly funny stuff. Now, as you see, the website renders fine because HTML is extremely forgiving. But I have strong reason to suspect that Elon Musk personally hand wrote this website, which is very funny because it shows that this guy who thinks he's a tech genius doesn't actually know basic HTML. He makes a, it's this short and he makes a bunch of mistakes. Um, now, again, mistakes is kind of a strong word here because to be clear, the website does render correctly, but that's because HTML is very forgiving. Um, I'm going to start talking about some of the fuck-ups he did here. And this is highly autistic. I am someone who uh, believes that you should do things in the way that they're intended to be done, particularly with HTML. You know, the fact that the HTML is so forgiving allows you to do stuff in so many different ways is one of the reasons why web bloat is in the state that it is. Um, but I'll, I'll, I'll get to that when I get to that. So this is all fine. Um, pretty much everything up to the body tag is fine. Um, but then we get to this. So, uh, what he's done here is he's indicated that this should be bold text, which, which he's done correctly, but, uh, there's no indication of what kind of text this is. So like this should have an, a heading tag because it's a heading, right? Uh, rather than just, or, or at the very least, a, a paragraph tag to indicate what kind of text it is. The only reason this works is because H if you just give HTML plain text, it will render it as, as text. Um, but you're not supposed to do that. You're supposed to indicate that, you know, what kind of text this is, which he hasn't done. He's just put bold tags around it. So it's bold something. But we have no way of knowing what kind. So, so this, rather than being a B and slash B, this should be like H1 slash H1. But it gets much worse. Uh, I also want to point out that there's a random space here, which is completely inconsistent with the rest of the style of the, the, the code or the whatever you want to call it. It's not really code. Um, then there's a, a paragraph tag, which is then on another line, unlike every single other line in this document, all of the other ones have the tags wrapped up, like on the same line as the text. This random paragraph tag. And then one of two things happened here. Either he forgot to close the paragraph tag for this line. Like this is supposed to be the closing tag of this initial paragraph tag, which seems likely because it's on the same line. Um, in which case he's just left this open. He actually has two. <laughs> He's left two paragraph tags open. You're not supposed to do that. You're supposed to close your tags. But what I think is more likely is that he's done this because he's 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 made a, an extra large gap here. So he started a new paragraph in order to make the, the gap between this line and, and these lines uh, larger, which is a perfectly fine way of doing it. Um, it's just bizarre that he put this on the same line here. It makes me think, if I'm just theorizing about what was going through his mind when he wrote this, that he he wrote everything, went and checked what it looked like, realized that this line was like on the same line as here, and just sort of threw a P tag in there just to, just to make a line break. Um, Actually, funny enough, this would have been an appropriate, a semi-appropriate use of the, the line break tag, unlike his later uses of the line break tag. So instead, he defines this section as a paragraph. Um, and again, I just want to clarify, this is the biggest mistake. He just has, he's just left two paragraph tags open. They don't get closed, ever. And then this, this list, which is an unordered list. Now, HTML has a tag for an unordered list. It's UL, and then you tag each list item with LI. Um, you know, that is, uh, and it will make a bullet point appear next to each list item. That is the semantically correct way 
to use HTML. Now, granted, maybe for stylistic reasons, he wanted them to have hyphens at the start of each line, which you can't do with pure HTML um, using the unordered list tag. You'd have to insert a, a little tiny bit of CSS in order to make that happen. Um, so, you know, maybe maybe it was purely a stylistic thing. Uh, but as, a, as a, an artist, uh, I think that you should use semantically the tools that you're given properly. If you're going to make an unordered list, you should tag it as an unordered list just to make extra explicitly clear to the, the browser what it is they're actually reading. Um, but he hasn't done that. Instead, this list is a bunch of lines in a paragraph tag where he spammed the line break tag. This spamming the BR is a very common like beginner HTML thing. I used to do it back in the day. Lots of people do it when they're first learning HTML. They just sort of spam line break. Um, but it's actually, it's just generally considered sort of bad practice just because there's better ways to do it. It's kind of messy. It works. The website works fine because HTML is, is your know, pure HTML is very, very forgiving. But, um, you know, this is not how you're supposed to do this. This, I'm going to actually remake the website. I've got up the W3C, uh, W3Schools um, little play playground thing just so I can fix this. So firstly... Let's just get rid of that. That's stupid. That's been annoying me. I also want to get rid of the initial line break. Just make that at the top. Um, okay, so this should be H1 or maybe a bit smaller. Let's make it an H2. Um, this, let's let's make this on the same line. Close that paragraph tag. Um, and then make this an unordered list, uh, which we will then close down here. This is not difficult, people. And then let's make this a li, um, and then I'm going to delete, god this would be so much easier if I was using vim right now, um, <clears throat> delete that and let's just copy paste uh, this, uh, run, this is what the website should look like, I'm pretty sure I did that all correctly, uh, oh I have the, yeah, no that's all correct. Uh, yeah, this is what the website should look like. This is what the HTML should look like. This is correctly formatted HTML. Um, Elon Musk doesn't know how to write HTML. That's the that's the funny uh, that's the funny point of this video.